Hello, breakers. So I got to go to a card show, first card show in good night. Had to have been maybe 15 years. I took my six-year-old son. We had an absolute blast. So I was going to show some of the pickups there, show you some good news and some bad news, uh, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail. But here's the good. Uh, Bo Jackson rookie. This might be my favorite design card all time. This is such a cool card. Love Bo. Uh, he was massive when I was a kid growing up. Um, also got uh, the Flare Rookie, beautiful card. All of these are in pretty decent shape. Uh, picked up uh, his Donruss Rated Rookie. Sorry, getting a lot of glare. Sorry about that. Uh, just like this card. Obviously, it's not a rookie. It's just a you know 91 upper deck, but uh, still, it's Bo Jackson, so you can't go wrong. Uh, really like Will Clark. Um, the Giants were my dad's favorite team growing up, and so he... Uh, he loved him a lot, and so uh, picked up a couple of uh, his cards. This could be my favorite. I love this Fleer set, honestly. I think it might be a little underrated, um, but another just a good card of a good player. Uh, another one, uh, Donruss, and obviously everyone loves this card. Um, not the best representation of it, you know. Obviously the uh, not centered, awesome, but really not that bad. Um, pretty good for for what I paid for it. Uh, Randy Johnson, uh, his cards are so undervalued. I, I, I'm just shocked. I mean, this guy is just absolutely such a good player. Um, but picked up the, the Donruss rated rookie as well. And um, got the, the tops and then the, the trade. I got, actually ended up finding two of these in the same bin. Uh, Sosa as well. Sweet cards for, for Sammy. A lot of good memories watching him and McGuire go at it. Um, me and my dad sitting and watching that, having a great time. This was probably my favorite card growing up. This Frank Thomas, this hot rookie. Um, as much as that Bo Jackson is my favorite probably now. Um, I, I remember having this card and just thinking it was the greatest thing in the world. Uh, and uh, having a buddy offer to trade me like his whole life <laughs> for this card and me essentially saying no. Uh, obviously not the no name here, but I love this card. I'm one of the few people that really, <laughs> I really like the design of this, uh, of this particular year. Um, I almost bought a, a Devers Rookie Auto that was kind of a throwback design of this because it, <laughs> I just like it so much. Uh, picked up a Benintendi. Love this guy. He is absolutely awesome. This is the Red Sox pickup I got. Uh, Mookie Betts Gold Stadium Club. Um, put that off to the side, actually. Um, Donner's nothing crazy, obviously, there. Uh, but this one's great. So this is a Topps Chrome Refractor of uh, my buddy, Benny. He a man, he a myth, he a legend. Uh, and then my favorite Red Sox player, Bogarts. Obviously not the not a spectacular pickup, but I'll take anything, uh, anything Xander. Uh, and the reason I set this out is because there was a dealer there that I bought most of these cards for. A really nice guy, treated my son really, really well. Gave him a couple of uh, mystery baseball packs to try to try to pull something, and um, you know even gave him some. Uh, actually gave him some Red Sox player uh, pictures that was was pretty cool. But I spent a lot of time at his. Uh, his booth. It was a small show. It's only about six or seven tables, um, and I spent a lot of time with him and just talking and uh, just started talking. Bowman, why wouldn't you, right? Uh, these mega boxes were a blast. Um, I've already said that, um, but anyway, uh, how can you talk about Bowman without talking about 1989 Bowman? And I have been looking for a set um, for a long time. And my wife and I go to antique stores quite often, and there's a particular place we go. Uh, a guy's got two of these, um, factory sealed. And they're just a little more expensive than what I would like to spend, and so I you know, haven't been too eager to, to overspend. And so this particular dealer um, had this, and we started talking about Bowman and just said, hey, you know what, it's my favorite, it's my favorite design. Uh, I know I'm in the minority, and I know a lot of people hate these cards because of the awkward size. Um, but uh, yeah, they go in card savers pretty well, and there's way to do, there's ways to to store them. Um, but look, I just love how how simple they are, how crisp they are, 
And so um, he actually gave me this for five dollars. So he didn't. He he took off half, and I was really excited. Uh, got home, and what card was I looking for? Of course, right there. And what card did it not have in it? Well, that one. So I was really disappointed, honestly. I mean, fortunately, it was only a $5 mistake. You know, I didn't sit there and, and check the entire thing. Again, I had my six-year-old son there. Uh, he's enjoying himself, but getting impatient and getting into things. And so I uh, just picked it up, trusted the guy because he gave me, you know, you know, I, got, I bought a lot from him and he was nice to my kid. And so I thought, hey, uh, the guy's probably legit, man. This is cool. And got home. Uh, and the Griffey was not there. So really disappointed. You know, maybe it was an honest mistake. Maybe it wasn't. But uh, at least it was only a $5 mistake. And I can make up for it some way. Maybe find the Griffey somewhere else. But uh, that's my story. So lesson uh, lesson learned, you know. Uh, try to try to make sure try to make sure the card you're looking for is actually there. But overall, great experience. Got some great cards. Uh, so that's that. But uh, anyway, you guys have uh, a great night and a blessed week and I hope you're having a good time uh, ripping packs.